Her Highness, Madam Pramoda Devi Badiar, Ujmila Madam, Madam Manjula, dear Chandra Jain, Chandra Aunty and Mangla Aunty, and all the wonderful ladies and men and artisans. It's indeed a beautiful morning. Thank you so much for having me also as part of this function. I would have missed out really. Um, it's just so wonderful to be here this morning. Um, in this exhibition is really relevant because India has always been, like many other ancient civilizations, it's always been a land where art was no different from everyday living. So use, so whether it was vessels, whether it was cosmetics, everything was actually an art form. And of course now, though this is an aspiration for all of us, it is a Herculean task, but to, in the modern day, to get us to meet tradition and convenience and um, uh, um, utility value, um, the Craft Council has really, I must say, this has brought out this path-breaking initiative and I wish you more and more success in this uh, line in future. And talking about Patre, I just spoke to an aunt. I've seen various kinds of Patres as a Kannadiga and I'm sure all of you have also, and maybe you don't know the names, but I was really amazed at uh, the names for different kinds of vessels and uh, I just wanted to share a few uh, for all of you in case you were not familiar with them. There is the tapple, which is a big vessel to serve rice etc. There is koladaple which you use for rasam and saru and huli. There is Anna bisuvudu, which means straining that little bit of a patre where you strain the water, the little bit of water left out of cooked rice. There is Anna badisuva patre, the patre in which you serve Anna. And there is this archan chitte, which is like an urali, which is an urali in Kerala, which is a very popular name, but in Canada we call it archan chitte. Then, um, of course, you know all the other bandles, the kolda plays, uh, the kavalis, dose kavli, etc. And Ma'am uh, Pramoda Devi also gave us her own uh, nuggets uh, of her wide experience and rich experience in our heritage. Uh, but for me, as an artist, there are two connotations for Patre that has always resonated with me. One is Shiva's Bhiksha Patre, and that meant the Shiva used his begging bowl, but for us, our teachers, our gurus always said that the begging bowl is actually for you, the begging bowl is for you to drop your egos and put that into that to experience a better, fulfilling life. The other patre is the appetite, the enthusiasm for life, for learning. Uh, my guru would always say every student comes with his or her own patre, which is of its own unique size, which means your appetite, your capacity for learning, for absorbing. So even the teacher, the guru, has to have discretion in uh, giving whatever knowledge to the deserving student. So the teacher assesses the size and the kind of patre the student comes with to learn. And these uh, I always try to imbibe and they do resonate with me. And I wish Craft Council um, more and more success and thank you once again for inviting me. And uh, I must say for me, this is truly an honor because I look up to all the Craft Council members and fraternity uh, people as women of eclectic, exquisite taste to go to, as ma'am said, when we do the Vastra Parada exhibition when they're there, I go to them for consultation, to look, to fine tune my sense of aesthetics, and here to be on the other side of the stage is truly an honor. Thank you so much. <laughs>